Today we're looking at apartments in the fanciest part of Manhattan, the Upper East Side, and some of these are gonna be pretty interesting. Can you imagine if this was your bedroom? Why is the toilet doing this? No, it's still making noise for some reason. This place also has like the most incredible windows. Have you seen any of these before? Maybe. Where are we going? Oh. Dude, this is like a house. What's the rent? The rent is 9950. Whoa! How many square feet is this? It's approximately 1600. Working fireplace, two bathrooms. And how many bedrooms? We have two bedrooms. This is the living room right now. Just look at that. You can see right into your neighbor's little garden. See what they're up to. And if you look at this heater, it should be obvious the building is over 100 years old. Closer to 250. It's also got more rooms than most apartments. That's the front door. Right here, you've got your coat closet. We're in the foyer. Foyer. Um, Place is too fancy. But look, you could put a wall right here if you were in college, and then instead of $4,500 per room, it would be closer to like three per room. Is that a closet? No, it's a bathroom. Really? Oh! It's good water pressure. Big sink, big mirrors. And this is the bathroom guests will use since the living room is right there. And even though the apartment's not modern, look at that, we got central air, not every apartment has that. This is 20 by 20. And I love how by the fireplace you got those bookshelves. There's an elegance to it, which isn't found in most New York apartments. It's been deleted. Other landlords would have turned this into three apartments. Is that because there's three bathrooms? That's because there's three bathrooms. Nice little walk-in closet. And it's connected to the bigger of the two bedrooms, which has its own bath. And that would make this the primary bath. Ooh, look at that dimmer switch. Why is there a dimmer switch in the bathroom? It's a little, uh, a little too romantic in here. Sink looks fancy. There's a nice big tub. And next to the seat of achievement, there's a little window, which will help you focus on TikToks. That's what you're gonna be doing here. Room is big, fits a queen. Actually, it's 16 by 18, so it'll fit two kings. In the smaller room, you can fit at least Two queens and a king. Two queens and a king. It's a weird kingdom. Oh, no, it's not. It's a great kingdom. One thing that's worth remarking on is that none of these views are particularly breathtaking, but it's a massive apartment and there's good light. It doesn't feel dark. Now, this is the smaller room. Its bathroom is here in the hall. And this is definitely another winner. We've got two baths with tubs. This bathroom is also loaded with storage. Yeah, it's got a linen closet built in. And there's a mirror on the other side of the glass. Works for me. Everything opens, my friend. Just barely. Watch this. Wow. Watch how I close it gently. Are you implying that I'm too rough? <laughs> um. You don't think? Stress testing it. It's crazy how in a big place like this, this is still the kitchen. But it has all full-size stuff. Five burners on the oven. I mean, the real five burner, this is a cast iron grill. Mm, no complaints about the water. And a sink sprayer, look at that. We're gonna find a roll. Yo, dude, come to the free trash can. This is one of the aggressive. And this is where the rules are. Honestly, I've seen way creepier hallways. This building is just so cool. It's almost like the buildings in New York City used to be designed for people to enjoy themselves, and now they're just designed to be a roof over your head. Not necessarily. We lot in. This is how New York real estate works. On apartments available, and then you show up and it looks like this. Can you remove the wall? Protective wrapper. Does it even fit? We can't show you what we did to get the door open, but we got the door open. Whoa, backyard? No. It's hot. Got a little patio. What's this thing cost? I believe this thing costs $45.50. One bed or two bed? 
two bedroom. Since we're sneaking around the building, um, what's over here? Oh boy, yeah, you don't want to be over there. Ain't no reason to go beyond this door. And look at the neighbors, man. They got a cute little backyard of their own. Now that first place we saw, that was really nice, but this is really nice too, and it's half the price. So you could stay here a lot longer than in the other one. As far as backyards go, this is legit. Got some possibly non-poisonous plants, a fire hydrant for some reason. It uh, looks like it's decorative. And we're also shrouded with tree leaves, which means this little apartment's gonna offer you a lot of privacy if you want to come back here and just kind of hang out. Wait, never mind. There's a security camera right there from the other building. That wall is probably to keep people out and that camera's there. So maybe you have to like get a little fence and build it up. It's also a working drain. Power box. There's just one problem with it. And that problem is that this door is attached to one of the bedrooms. This room is bigger than some of the rooms in the other apartment. And this window above the heater means that even though there's a door right here, you can still have an air conditioner. Although I'd probably put it in this little guy. We've also got one bath instead of three. And it's the similar bath to what we've seen. Although we got the wand and these weird little Wi-Fi lights. I don't understand what that symbol means, but it's bright. And we got ourselves a tub. So, you know, if you're in here, you're doing your scrubbing, you're cleaning behind your ears. Ew, ugh. Someone else's shower water. Outside of the bathroom on the way to the kitchen, we find our coat closet. And it has a storage cabinet no one can reach. What do you think's up there? <laughs> and it's right next to the kitchen. Look at this tiny kitchen. Dishwasher, stove, fridge. And it's only like two feet. Now I ain't hating. I think it's charming when landlords use a ruler and this thing called math to like fit things where they're supposed to go. I think they call that geometry. And they call this a microwave and they call that a window. Now the great thing about the kitchen being so compact is that the rest of the living space here is actually very generous. This wall right here is the perfect spot for a massive TV. And then you could have a couch in the corner and then a little table. Definitely you can fit a lot of stuff. This is your heater. One of them heat pipes. Also, I love how the windows here are perfect for watching movies. But the one thing some people might complain about is that this bedroom over here, it is on the opposite end of the apartment. But really, I mean, we're talking 80 square feet plus a window and a heater and your imagination. How you doing? Yeah, no, check them out. It's this one. It looks like it's this one. Yo, how much is this? 36.50. And we are 24 hours out. I know. Look at this view. It's beautiful, right? It is. You can actually see the very top of the Empire State Building right over there in Midtown. That's 50 blocks from where we are right now. Now, the great thing about being 20 flights up is you can still see the details in some of these neighboring buildings. So you get to really see the city. For example, that little roof party over there. Wow, and that building looks incredibly strange. Now, this is also a studio. It's not a one bedroom, but it is a massive apartment. From the front door to the back, that's 40 feet. And the layout's also incredibly efficient. You've got the kitchen hallway that leads to living space, and then you have this. There's a closet here. It's going to be a storage slash dressing slash blah. You know what I mean. But maybe you could have a little home office in the corner. Let's be real. No one's going to do that. Although, look at this. This hallway, it has two of these really big closets. People could live in them, and then it would be a one bedroom. I would put up like some sort of divider and then get the bed like right over here. Some sort of half wall here would mean you could have a TV and a table. 13 by 23, so this is 299 square feet. Just the living room, no kitchen, and that's what makes it good. In a lot of studios, your kitchen takes up, like, let's say that part of the room. And look at that, this hallway right here, that means if there is somebody in your kitchen, they're gonna be quiet while you're sleeping. I do like this kitchen a lot. It is like, you know, ooh, blue? Fancy blue? This might even be brand new. Is this, this is a letter of some sort in the fridge. We won't open it. It's nice to see every inch of this cabinet being used for something. And it doesn't have any fake drawers or anything. Definitely nice, even though it's not massive. Did we see the bathroom? Is there anything special about it? These lights look pretty special. And you look special when you see yourself in the mirror. siren but no 
idea where it's coming from. But what's crazy is that this studio for 2625, it's actually a really big place. The living space is 18 by 14. And just outside the living space, we have the bathroom and the kitchen. And in this little foyer, we find ourselves a broom so you can keep it just as clean as it is right now. Wow, look at the intercom, man. This thing is so ancient. Now this place definitely isn't perfect, but it comes with an AC. Usually you bring your own. The closet that it has is definitely a walk-in. What's also weird is this window has a shade attached to it. I don't know why that's there. If you look at it closely, light still passes through it. And since these windows are just a brick wall, it's not stopping anyone from seeing you. I guess the person bought it and installed it and they were like, you know what, it's not worth it. But this apartment's worth it. You can have a table, bed over here, entertainment, and a couch along that wall. And the kitchen might actually be the nicest part of this thing. Everything lines up. Fridge looks good. Really clean too, someone takes care of it. We're also on the second floor, water pressure reflects that. And there's also enough kitchen here to like cut stuff up before it goes on the stove. Usually in a studio, you gotta do one or the other. Cabinets are solid, but the bathroom. Why is the toilet going? No, it's still making noise for some reason. There we go. They can fix that. And the lighting in here is really good. The shape might not be, you know, what you'd expect because there's kind of like a barrier between the sink and the rest of it. But it has a medicine cabinet, vanity lights, and you can be president and still wash both your hands in the sink at the same time. And there's a storage cabinet, which doesn't have any horror stories underneath it. This next one's on the cheaper side, but that's a cleaner's. Look at that, no laundry in the apartment probably, but there's the door. Hopefully it wasn't on the fifth floor. I love everything about this place. It's 2950, it's a one bedroom apartment. And look at it, it's half of this side of the building. The living room is 200 square feet. And look at this closet, it looks like just a basic deal, but inside there's like some shelves. You can only reach half of them depending on where the door is positioned. Can't believe how sunny it is in here. And that's because we're on the top floor. Being on the top floor has its advantages. Lots of light, lots of exercise every day to get down there to the ground. You get out of entertainment. Center. This area by the doorway, you're gonna to want to keep clear because it has some shelves or something. It also has outlets in weird places. Like, when are you gonna use that? But this wall's big enough for a couch. Oh, look at that. Another interesting outlet right there. And I'm thinking a little table by this brick would look great. Not everyone likes white painted brick, but I like that. It feels nice. The heaters are all flush mounted with the wall. And if we walk over here to the bedroom, we can see that the AC is built in as well. The remote is pretty intense, man. Look how long this thing is for like no reason. Now this bedroom, it does fit a queen pretty easily, but it's only got the one window. Super bright, which is nice. We're actually facing south, so it's always gonna be bright. But the reason the bedroom and living room are so big is because the kitchen's kind of small. It's crazy, it's like all these landlords saw one of these little corner kitchens and got out the rulers and were like, hey, I'm gonna make the exact same thing. I'm definitely not hating on this kitchen. We got good water pressure, there's a sink sprayer, there's the drain thing which no one stole yet, and there's lots of counter space here. Plus we have the serving window. There's a light so you can cook at nighttime. Clean stove, big microwave, look at that. I just think it's a kitchen for one person to use at a time. Quartz counters, and even though the layout's kind of funny with all these little corners, the windows make up for that. The bathroom's also really cool, kind of minimal. Although that's a loud light, man. You're making a statement with that guy. It has an actual tub and actual outlet. Let's do the under sink check. Oh yeah, really clean under there. This might actually be a relatively fully redone place. If you want to live in any of these, check out the video description. I will see you in the next video.